Hey everyone, it's time for another Pathfinder Adventure card game scenario. We are on Adventure Path 3, so this is scenario 3.4. Alright, and we are over at the, let me see where we're at here. We're at the surgery, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we get. So we're on Adventure Path 3.4, Advancing the Blessings deck. We get a Thaumet Klansman. That's cool because uh, I think we found one last adventure and then we said goodbye to him. But he's back. So he's back. He says he really wants to be our follower. Alright, D6 for my Charisma. I add plus 3 to this result. Cool. So I acquire this card. And I will promptly go ahead and discard this card to explore my location. Alright. Let's go ahead and do an exploration. We get a Plague Zombie, Combat 11, Immune to Mental and Poison. Okay, so it's a straight up combat check. So what I'm going to do is I have an Explorer's Staff in my hand. So I'll reveal it to use my Strength or Melee skill. My Strength is D8, my Melee is D6. And I'm going to go ahead and recharge this item, which is the Flame Staff. So I have an additional D8. Okay, D8. All right, so getting the right dice. All right, what do we get here? So we get an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, with the Explorer staff, that's melee, so plus 2. Defeat this plague zombie and banish it. Uh, let's see, I have no, well, I have a blessing of Abdar in my hand which would allow an extra exploration, but I'm doing pretty good. So just gonna reset my hand. It says here at the surgery, at the start of your turn. Okay, so it's now at the start of the turn. So we're going to advance the blessings deck. And at the start of my turn, I can go ahead and shuffle a random card. The only random card in my discard pile was the Fomit Klansman. Hmm, pretty exciting. Okay, shuffling the deck here. And let's go ahead now and see what the exploration is. Hey, it's the uh, henchman, disciple of the forgotten pharaoh. All right, so it's combat 22. Before you act, a character at your location summons and encounters the henchman, forgotten pharaoh cultist. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do. So let me go ahead and find this uh, forgotten pharaoh cultist. Da, 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 da. Okay, there it is. So I have to encounter this card. Uh, let's see. It says the difficulty to defeat is increased by twice the scenario's adventure deck number. So that would be, we're on level 3, so it's a 6. So I have to do a combat 16. Alright, so with my combat 16, I'm going to go ahead and I will do an immolate spell. And I'm going to also recharge the frost staff. So I have a plus D8. So I'm going to have a total of my Arcane skill, which is 10, and 2D4. And I'm going to have a D8. And I'm going to add plus 2 to this roll. Okay, looking pretty good. So I get a 2, and a 4 is a 6, and a 10 is a 16, and a 5 is a 21, 22, 23. Only needed 16. Okay, let's just for fun see if I recharge my Immolate spell. And I roll a 6 there. So I get to recharge the Immolate spell, which is pretty awesome. So I went ahead and did the Before You Act requirement. And now I have to defeat this character. Okay, so combat 22. So in my hand, so Amatep's got a lot of great spells here and cards. I got the Chain Lightning spell. For your combat check, display this card next to your deck to use your Arcane skill plus 3d6. Cool, so I'll go ahead and do it. So my Arcane skill is d10, 3d6, uh, getting that. Uh, then I'm also going to use a Blessing of Abdar so that, oh, well, let's see, you know what? I'm going to keep the Blessing for the when closing because I have to close this location. And then I'm just going to recharge the Explorer's Staff, give myself a D8. Okay, all these dice 
plus 2. Alright, so I rolled a 4. 7 and 5 is 12. And 5 is 17 plus 6. 23, 24, 25. Okay, so I got a 25. Only needed a 22. It says here, I can immediately attempt to close the location. And I'm glad I saved that blessing of Abdar. Because now I'm going to go ahead and do an intelligence craft or survival check with a difficulty of 6 plus the adventure deck number. So that's 3. So I have to roll a 9. I'm rolling 2d10. Come on, let's try to close this location. My intelligence is just a straight d10. 6, 7. Ouch. That sucks. So 6, 7. I needed a 9. 6, 7, and 9. But since I'm Amotep, I'm able to recharge a card like the Shield Cloak and da da da, make that a 9. The location is closed. I only had an unshakable chill spell left in my hand. Pretty sweet. Alright, so the surgery walked through that, no problem. So let's go ahead and see what the, the reward was for this scenario. The reward for 3.4 was a scarab brooch and the trader Agamia. Or let's see, let me find. Um, oh, so it's so, nope, not that one. So I need to find the scarab. So I get this and I get. Dun, 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 let's see where this trader is. Trader or a merchant. Okay, let's find Agamia somewhere in here. This giant stack of stuff. <laughs> okay, so these are the rewards for this scenario. Scare brooch and Agamia. So let me go ahead and zoom in there. Okay, so Agamia. So offers spells that have the arcane trait. So his. Uh, so this trader. Let's go ahead and zoom in there. So and eh, we'll zoom out. Let's take a look. We are not going to visit that trader. In my opinion, it's uh, much better to just visit old Hayden Hoppert, who offers the uh, the spells. I think this guy's a, a better trader to meet. He's just offering spells for two boons. Sorry for the blur there. Let's zoom out here. So Hayden Hoppert is offering spells. So I get this scare brooch. Recharge this card to automatically succeed at your check to temporary close location. Okay, well that is perfect uh, loot to go ahead and trade to a trader. All right, let's go ahead. I kind of showed uh, Amotep's deck uh, last game. So what we're going to do, let's just quickly scan. So I gained him as loot, but he's a ally B. So I can't trade him to a trader because... So what I'm going to do... I need to have level 3 items. Hmm, shucks. I wish I gained another item because then... Alright. Item. So what I can do is this might be interesting. Quickly dismantle the deck. Because I would love to get some things. So the only things, the only thing I really have to trade to Hayden Hopper is the newly acquired so the newly acquired da, 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 this the scare brooch so I think what I'm going to do is instead of good old Hayden Hopper I'm going to meet Falsing Deek Falsing Deek is offering the items let's uh... where did he go? okay we're meeting this guy we're going to get an item so looking over here at the items Give it him a quick shuffle, determining which items this guy has for trade. So let's just go with that. All right, let's see what level two and three items he has. So he has this to trade. Okay, so he has these two items to trade. So false Deek, we went to the surgery. We came back to town. He said, okay, you can have either the effigy of Anubis or the, hmm, deliquescent gloves. All right. Well, I will tell you next scenario if I decide to do any trades with uh, Hayden Hoppert. Probably going to get rid of the Scarab Brooch or Brooch and or the Brooch. We'll probably go ahead and pick that item, but I'll read it and I'll let you know. All right. Well, thanks for watching.